bit more breaking news as well. AFC Bournemouth owner Maxim Demen is in advanced talks over the sale of the South Coast Club. It's our understanding that Bill Foley, owner of NHL side Vegas Golden Knights, is heading the takeover, which would see the American take a 100% stake of the club. The talks have been happening right throughout the summer, and it's thought that a deal could be finalised before the World Cup. Such is the positive nature of these negotiations. Despite the potential sale, Swiss-based Demon uh, has pressed ahead with the training ground development as well as investing £30 million last season and another £30 million this summer, showing his continued commitment to the ongoing running of the club. The club's search for a new manager uh, to replace Scott Parker continues, but these developments explain why they're taking a little bit of time with any potential appointment. Uh, Gary O'Neill has picked up four points from a possible six available. His impressive start has given the club a bit of breathing space with regards to any decision and he has been speaking this morning before we had that news. Yeah, obviously I was not involved in any sort of discussions like that. Um, so yeah, I've been, been hard at work over the other side on the grass and takeovers and discussions of that level are obviously a long way from, from my mind and what I'm focused on at the moment, which is, is Newcastle. It's going to be a big test. Clearly, that can play into your hands, though. If the ownership, the board are focusing on a new owner, that would leave you to focus on the football. Their focus isn't going to be about finding a new manager. It's going to be about sorting out that situation. So, therefore, you could be left to just carry on the good work that you're doing. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, I haven't considered any, anything around takeovers, discussions upstairs, my position, whatever that is, it is. Um, I know it's, it's going to be boring for you guys, but I'm just fully focused. Every, literally every minute of my day is taken up by how, how we go about Newcastle for the last, well, since I heard the Brighton game was off. Um, my, my wife and kids will tell you every minute of my day so far since that is Newcastle, either on the laptop, on the grass with the lads, um, pure focus on on how we go there, have an impact on the game and, and come away with a positive result. This will be the first time that Eddie Howe has managed to side against Bournemouth. You will be familiar with Eddie because he joined Portsmouth while, while you were there as a, as a youngster, although you didn't play together a great deal because of his injury. What do you re remember about him and the character he was and just that environment from those early Pompey days when you were younger? Yeah, I just remember him going for a real tough time there. Um, everyone... Um, was trying to support him and help him at that moment because, as you say, his, in, his injury problems there were, were really tough for him um, at, at a very young age as well. Um, but, yeah, he showed real resilience and was always keen to work. And I think you see that in the success he's had since those days um, with his managerial career. Um, yeah, and they're, they're, they're a very good side of uh, every game I've watched of them. They've been front foot, aggressive cause teams problems, probably should have more points than they've got so far. I expect them to be very high up the league this year. I would I would expect them to be sort of top eight, top ten by the end of the season.